Hey, it's Sam. If you're watching this video, then chances are you're probably wondering how you can write an effective and converting lead capture page. So stick around because that's exactly what I'll tell you. On my channel, I always release videos on digital marketing and passive income strategies. So consider subscribing. Also, if you want, you can click on the link below to get access to my recession-proof business model that will teach you how to build an online business from the ground up. So don't worry if you have zero experience because you'll get the best training that will make you the top marketer. Great, let's get to the content. The purpose of a lead page is to turn traffic into your leads. There are plenty of terms you've probably heard of, like such as an opt-in page or a squeeze page. Those are the same thing as a lead capture page. So don't get confused when you hear about that. When you, when, when you hear those words, you know what they are. So there are three different steps to create a really good converting capture page. The first thing you need is a hook. It's something that grabs your audience's attention and, uh, and makes them want to get more information from you. That's the goal of lead page, right? And then the button, the button to click on that's big a call to action sign that allows them that leads them into typing in their email it's that simple don't overcomplicate it because you don't want to confuse your your audience right your your traffic if you leave them confused they're gonna exit they're gonna leave they're gonna go somewhere else and you don't want that you want them to make sure they stay they type in their email and they opt in here are two formulas that you can use to create your hook an example I like to use is in the category of weight loss, health, the health niche. Because I do the keto diet personally, and it works so well, I know how to write these, these hooks for uh, keto weight loss, keto diet weight loss. So here's an example. Example one. How to reduce three inches of your waist without spending three hours at the gym every day. Oh, every day. All right, so here you see how to, when people want to search, when people search for how to, they want to take action. They want to learn how to do something. And chances are they'll probably want to do it because they're, actively searching for an, an answer and then you see here reduce three inches off your waist that is what we call a benefit right and having benefits you t you let your audience know what the benefits are of of following your program if they follow your program, they can have these benefits. They can reduce three inches off their waist. And then here, we're talking about a pain point. So we have a benefit and a pain point. These two combinations, when they're together, they're, they, they work really well. They attract a lot of people. They're, they're the perfect hooks. Spending, a time, spending three hours at the gym every single day is a pain point. Not everyone wants to spend three hours at the gym every day unless they're passionate about it. But for the average Joe, for, for the average Joe and Jane, they don't want to spend three hours at the gym every day. That's three hours of uh, extra money they can make when they go to work. That's three hours of time that pe they could have spent with their family or doing activities. So this is a pain. So benefit without pain let's get this underlined out of here and then the second formula is very similar but instead of having a pain re you reinforce it with another benefit with benefit and benefit Let's, let's get an example. 
So, example two is let's say let's stick with the key the, the weight loss niche because you don't you don't want to give away what program you're selling or marketing you want to keep them curious so let's see how to you want to you want to also do how to because that's exactly what they are searching for when they're looking for for on, on google or on youtube how to do something and pretty much they'll get tutorials when they look those up. So how to, let's keep losing, uh, reducing three inches off your waist and eat your favorite Boots. So now we're using the benefit and benefit. So now we're using the benefit and benefit formula where reducing three inches off your waist is the benefit and eating your favorite foods. That's a benefit, right? That's not pain. People love eating, eating food. And here is the second one. So when people read these two formulas, they will it will spark a, a curiosity. And that's exactly what we want. They we want them to long for an answer. So they'll have questions in their head and they will want answers. And that's when they will opt in. It's simple psychology. So step two is fairly straightforward. It's just a form where people can input their email and, and give it to you. And with this email, you can you can email them with offers and more value and entice them into buying your affiliate program. So simply email form. You can add their first name, last name, address, or whatever, but chances of having them opt in is a lot less because they don't really know you, but they and and they also don't want to give you that much information. So a simple email will do the less steps so remember this the less steps they have to take the more chances of them opting in so the last step of creating your capture page is having your button a customized button you wouldn't want a generic uh, button that says grab your video here because that doesn't really give value either you want to really push them to press your button so let's say, for example, let's let's keep let's keep this example uh, within the weight loss niche. Let's say grab your fat melting training videos now. That sparks curiosity and that sparks motivation and that is what allows your audience to press that button right now after inputting their email. So I want you to go back to the hook and uh, and produce three examples of the hooks right here because you also want to test them out to see which one converts better than the other because you could you you always want to keep on testing and testing and testing to see which one converts the best right and that's how you can get, uh, conversion rates of uh, lead generation up to 50% as long as you keep on testing the more you test, the better it is, the more people will want to opt in, the more chances of them opting in is a lot higher. So come up with three to four more examples. And then here you can log into to your funnel builder. I'm using ClickFunnels. You can use anything you 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 want. You can use uh you can use ClickFunnels. You can you can use my affiliate link down uh, in the description below if you don't have an account already. Or you can use uh Get response, uh, builder all, uh, system IO, whatever, whatever you prefer to use. But I tend to want to use uh, ClickFunnels more because they're they're way more optimized. There's less bugs. They're they're super easy to use, and and it's pretty much the Lamborghini of uh, of uh, funnel builders. So let's input 
the first the first uh hook here so it's pretty simple put in the headline update it and you can definitely model this uh this one i made here so let's highlight the benefit by bolding it and then let's let's really also pop the without and then this is the way i do it this is uh what's helping me get up to 50 percent conversion rates for uh lead generation so here it is and then what what you want to do is make it look pretty make it look good to the eye so that it captures uh what people are looking at because this is the first thing that should that people should see other than your logo of course don't use my logo is since uh since it's my logo but so replace my logo with, with yours and then let's space this out that looks a little bit better but i think we can work it out even better second we can increase this up we can increase it or decrease the size but we really want it to pop out more here's the email form leave it as it is and then the button here you want to change that to something that's not generic like let's use the example that we created together that really pushes your audience's buttons that uh and really resonates with them so add the button text here let's even up the words here and let's see uh, seems a little bit off let me increase the size let's move let's remove some space on the top like this one And there you go you don't even need to scroll down for it you can just see everything right there and that's what we want this looks really nice these are my colors of course if you if you can you know, use your own colors that uh that, that deals with what you're doing and it's as simple as that that's uh that's how you create a lead capture page an opt-in page or a squeeze page if you will so come up with more examples test them out so if you enjoyed this video today please let me know your thoughts by commenting below and i'll see you on the other side thank you for joining me in this session i hope you learned some valuable tips and tricks to begin your affiliate marketing career if you want to find out more about doing affiliate marketing the right way consider subscribing to the channel like the video if you liked it and hit the bell icon if to be notified when i upload a new video for more tips be sure to subscribe into my email list and get the 8-step Affiliate Marketing Mastery Guide for free. And I'll see you on the other side.